today is gonna be a little more spontaneous than usual so just going to meet some friends by the beach at a Czech pub these are actually people from my Spanish class yes I started finally getting some language into my head so uh, these are some really cool people from all over the world they're gonna be just uh, not all, not the full class but just most of them and let's see how it goes we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some drinks this is one of the really good things in Spain that you need you don't need much preparation we literally just ask each other do you want to go for drinks tonight and it's um, it's a bit hard in other places but but here people seem to be more more spontaneous more just easy to organize meetings and and because you know after all when you're going to have some fun you don't need this much preparation and coordination and we're taking the bus we rarely use that usually it's a metro or walking or the scooter but now we're gonna go with the bus and this time it goes to all the way to the beach and there it is <laughs> They said no masks anywhere, not even inside. And now we just walked into the bus. And everybody has a mask. Why are we okay? It's fine, it's fine. It's cool, right? Back in Cabanyao. Cabanyao is basically becoming like Rusafa. There are a lot of new places uh, opening up. And this is uh, this is actually a Czech Czech bar, uh, Czech pub. So um, Slovakian. Czech. Okay. A lot of international crowd here in Cabanyao, and more and more places that serve you know different food. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it's some. Uh, I thought it's some tiny little pub. Just ordering some food. It's a pretty cool, authentic experience here with a lot of Czech, Slovak people. They make some traditional dishes and a lot of different beers. One thing I would probably would be beneficial if they had like a tasting menu for beers. We'll talk to them and we suggest that. Bernard's Bar? Bernard's Bar. Bernard's Bar. What is your name? David. David, how long you been here in, uh, how long? I'm living here for four years. Four but years? But we have this, this pub, we have uh, six months only. Six months? Oh yeah, it's pretty new. We saw, but still very good reviews. You're already gaining so many reviews. I think so, because the, the beer is, is awesome. One suggestion, because like, I'm not a person that drinks too much beer, but I want to try different different uh, beers. And but it's one. It's, this is too big. Maybe you can create like a testing testing menu. You can choose different size. Yes, you can you can choose this size. But even smaller. It's small. Like this. <laughs> it's almost nothing, right? <laughs> this is small. That's good. That's small enough. So that's a small. So no problem. I think the the Czech beer. This is so famous. That it's not important the quantity, but for the um, taste. Taste. Yeah. yeah. They, Awesome. They receive uh, many times. They sit for uh, lager, yeah, normal, the yeah. blonde one. So they know what they want. Yes. I tried veggie burger, of course, but there is a typical Czech food, like a traditional. Yes, you prepare. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of people do you get here? Half uh, the Spanish people. Yeah. And half some people. There are many people from Holland, yeah. from uh, Germany. They appreciate the beer. And... R Russia, Polonia. And why did you pick Cabanao? Why did you pick this place? I was living here for uh, three years. Three years, and you yeah. like the vibe. Yeah, I like I like this this barrio. Yes, awesome. Well, wish you good luck, and we really like it. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.
Fabrica de Hielo back here, this time at night, because before, when we were here, it was during the day, so we really didn't uh, experience the, the vibe. But um, it's pretty busy, everybody's, everybody's here, and usually they have some, uh, some band over there behind me. Right now there's nobody. We're gonna order our drinks. Again, our crowd got even, even more mixed, even more international than before. Now we have a German friend here that joined us. I love how this place has like different rooms with different vibe, different music, uh, same drinks, same people. <laughs> that's it it's a wrap-up of the night so we just sent our friends home they're gonna drive I'm so glad I'm not driving here you can walk everywhere and the weather is so perfect so we're gonna walk home but yeah it was a bit <laughs> I lost my voice all people from everywhere Slovakia Czech people German people Russian uh, who else did we have American half of our friends were not there though but so we're gonna walk home and let's see what what we'll encounter on the way home. Come closer, be careful. We're walking through Cabanao. This is the beach area and some parts of it are a bit sketchy, but nothing bad. Like really, it looks more dangerous than it is. It's, I mean, there's nobody here, it's okay. <laughs> My friend was so scared that their car is gonna be stolen or broken in, like somebody broke into the car or something. Nothing happened, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, yeah, There's so many bikes up here, look. Everything's available. If you have this in the States, it's probably dangerous, most probably dangerous. But here, people are just out and it's, it's not really, there's nothing, there's no harm. It's really safe area, but it's okay. Nothing, uh, nothing dangerous. Um, and yeah, look at this. People behind me having fun. And it's midnight, it's past midnight, actually. El Cabañal neighborhood is one of the most controversial places in Valencia. What should be the most desirable area to live since it's so close to the beach? It is one of the poorest. El Cabañal brings history, authenticity and some danger.